successful. Sensors online. Weapons activated. We're ready to go. Riftbreaker Novak, please report. Houston, this is Ashley. Reporting rift jump successful. Roger that. Begin field base setup. Ashley, construct a headquarters building to secure our presence here. It will allow me to reconstruct if my armor is destroyed. We don't have enough carbonium to build an HQ. Let's scout for a deposit and set up our base close to it. We need to move quick. It's probably a matter of time before the natives spot us. We've located a carbonium deposit. Okay, move on to the deposit and start drilling. We've gathered enough resources to construct a headquarters building. Finally. Let's place it close to a carbonium deposit. This will help us speed up resource production. HQ construction in progress. Sometimes I wish we could fast forward this part of the simulation. Captain Novak, let me remind you that even though this is a simulated training exercise, you are expected to perform as if it was your real mission on Galatea 37. We need to expand the base. Let's build a carbonium factory to do the digging for us. Yes, we've got much more interesting things to do. Let's automate this. will require huge amounts of power to operate. Right now, we can only construct some basic power plants. Wind turbines and carbonium power plants. Wind turbines are less effective, but they work around the clock. Carbonium power plants are very effective, but they use up the deposits that they are placed on. In the beginning, it's best to use a combination of these power sources. We can balance energy peaks and shortages by storing excess energy in energy storages. Also, remember to connect all buildings to the power grid using energy connectors. They connect all buildings within their area of operation, even if power lines are not visible. 